Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create this classic military dog tag with your own text. This tutorial is in two parts. In part one, we'll create the dog tag template, and in part two, we'll complete it by stamping text into the metal. I provided a Photoshop file for you to download, which includes this camouflage fabric and this military dog tag template. I also included this bare metal texture that we'll use later, as well as the link to the font I'll be using. For your convenience, I already set guidelines for this template. If you don't see them, press Ctrl H on Windows or Command H on a Mac. Go to View and make sure Snap is checked. If it isn't, just click on it. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your pen tool. If you're not familiar with this tool, I did an in-depth tutorial showing how to make paths with it. I provided its link in my video's description. Choose Path. If you're working on version CS5 or earlier, the Path tool is here. Click once on the top middle guideline to make an anchor point. Release and press and hold Shift as you click on the bottom middle guideline to make a vertical path. Release and again press and hold Shift as you click on the crosshairs of this guideline to make a horizontal path. Release and this time don't press Shift. Click on this crosshair. Go to the middle of this path and press and hold Alt or Option as you click on it to add an anchor point. Release and press and hold Control or Command and drag the anchor point to the edge of the curve template. Continue to hold Control or Command as you click the Control handle up at an angle to make the path curve as close to the curve that you see on the template. Right click on your document and click Make Selection. Make the feather radius 0 and click OK. We'll fill the selection with black. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since black is the foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to the top middle of the Transform, and when you see a vertical double arrow, drag it down until it snaps to the bottom guideline. Then press Enter or Return. Merge the two layers by pressing Ctrl or Command E. Make a copy of it, and open your Transform tool again. Go to the right edge of the transform, and when you see a horizontal double arrow, drag it to the left until it snaps to the left guideline. Then press Enter or Return. Merge the two layers, and reduce its opacity so we can see the hole on the template. Open your elliptical marquee tool. Go to the middle of the hole and press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag out a circular selection. Press the Delete key on your keyboard to delete the shape inside the selection. Deselect it and increase the opacity back to 100%. Now that we have our dog tag shape, we can trash the original template and hide the guidelines by pressing Ctrl or Command H. Click off the eyeball next to the background to hide the layer. You'll probably see a light vertical and horizontal crosshair, which occurred when we merged the four sections of our dog tag shape. To get rid of the crosshairs, press Ctrl or Command J twice, and press Ctrl or Command E twice, to merge them. This will fill in those lines. Click back on the eyeball to make the background visible, and control click 
or command click on the thumbnail of the shape to make a selection of it. Hide the shape and click the new layer icon to make a new layer. Click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the empty layer. Click the empty layer to make it active. Open your gradient tool and gradient picker. Click the gear icon to open your list of gradient presets and click metals. Click OK to replace the current gradients with the gradients from metals. Make sure the linear gradient icon is clicked. Click this gradient which is called steel bar. Click the gradient bar to open the gradient editor. Click the lower left stop and the color box. In the brightness field, type in 50% and click OK. Click the lower right stop and the color box. Again, type in 50% for brightness and click OK on both windows. To see the dog tag, Drag the gradient line anywhere on your document. Now, let's fill it correctly with the gradient. Go to the top of the shape and press and hold Shift as you drag the gradient line to the bottom of the shape. Open your brush tool and brush picker. Make it size 400 pixels and the hardness 0%. Make its opacity 50% and the flow 100%. Carefully brush once diagonally over the shape. Click the FX icon and click Bevel Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel, the technique is Smooth, the depth is 100% and the direction is Up. Make the size 13 pixels and leave the shading at their default settings. Click Contour and open the Contour Picker. Click the gear icon to open your list of contour presets. Click Small List and click Cone. Click Drop Shadow. Make the distance 17 pixels and the size 29 pixels. Then click OK. Next, we'll add scratches and where to add dog tag. Press V to open your Move tool and open the bare metal texture file I provided. Drag it to the tab of your dog tag and without releasing your mouse or pen, press and hold Shift as you drag it down onto the image and release. Holding Shift kept the metal texture centered over the document. Change its blend mode to Soft Light. Presently the bare metal texture is covering our entire document. To restrict it to just the dog tag, we need to make the bare metal texture into a clipping mask. To do this, press Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows or Command-Option-G on a Mac. Now the bare metal texture is affecting just the one layer under it instead of all the layers in the Layers panel. In Part 2, we'll complete our military dog tag by stamping text into the metal. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.